Okay, everybody, it's Gypsy. I am going down because I have some important things to get. First of all, a friend and I, he has a metal detector and everything, and I have an amp. Well, it's a plat map, actually, but it will also measure out the properties, uh, and it's GPS, so it shows you where you're walking and everything. So we found my property lines, which is very exciting. The thing is, the property I was shown is not the correct one, as I suspected. Uh, the real property, my property, is down the road a bit, which is fine. It's the same area. It's very lovely there. The only, only problem is, across the road for me is a property that looks like it's been abandoned. And it's got a barbed wire fence around it that's rusted and half down, and there's trash in there and everything. Uh, I'm going to call the county. Well, she's on vacation this week, I found out. I tried to go there to get my 911 address. This way I can get my post office box and everything. Uh, but she's on vacation. Anyways, um, I want to find out if that property's been abandoned or not. If it is, I want to see maybe about cleaning it up or hopefully somebody buys it at auction and cleans it up. I don't know. Um, anyways, that's disgusting, but the rest of it's very nice. So I'm going to buy some stuff to make a fence. Um, my friend and I figured out a barbed wire fence would cost me about $1,500. And it's like, no. Well, I'm going to use T-bars and bell wire which is much, much cheaper. It's like maybe at the most $150 it's going to cost me for right now. I'm going to add more T-bars later, but for right now, it's going to work. And it's really cool because there's this one lot in our estates that has a whole bunch of firewoods they're giving away for free. A lot of it's like large branches and sticks. Kim and I are weaving it between, on her property and mine, we're weaving it between the wire and our fence, and it looks so cool. She's already started hers because her fence is already up. Oh my God, does it look nice. I'm doing that. And then I'm going to make, I think like an eight foot Spanish gate. Uh, this way, when I pick up my dog Sirius, you know, he has some sort of reference as to where the property is, and I can start training him. Uh, let's see. Oh, I did stop at the post office. She says she can't. We have like bank banks of, um, you know, mailboxes at the end, you know, like along the highway. Uh, and you, you just sign up for one of those. They're free and they deliver your mail there. So when you're going into the estates, um, you can just stop and get your mail. There is a waiting list. She says, I can't get on it until the woman at the county gets back from vacation and um, registers my physical address. And then I could do it, but she did. She took my name in case I get any general mail. Um, so that'll work out nice. And she seems to remember everybody in town. And she's like really, really nice and really helpful. So anyways, that's where I am now. So I'm going into town, going to Tractor Supply Plus, and getting my stuff. Okay, everybody, I'm done at Tractor Supply Plus. I got, don't mind my trash here, and I bought my dog a um, swimming pool. He likes water. I got this water. God, is it heavy. And I got a post pounder, and now I got to go over there and pick up my T-bar posts. Okay, it's probably going to be hard to hear me. It's a very windy day. I was telling you about putting the sticks um, in between uh, the wire on the fencing. Uh, my friend has started hers already. Um, and then afterwards, you can, it helps keep your fence tighter, the fence wire. And then you can, I think, we're going to try this. Uh, you can also weave in between the sticks too. So this is how it starts. I think it looks really cool. And excuse my shadow. These, we have like a whole lot full uh, in our neighborhood. We're in, and they're free, so we're picking them up. Okay, everybody. It is, what is today? Thursday morning. I know, it's the weekend before 4th of July. I'm leaving Kim's place where I'm camped out right now. And I am heading to my place. It's about, I don't know, a mile, maybe a little bit more up the road. It takes me about five to 10 minutes to get there. It depends on how fast I drive. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just telling Kim, this is a test 
for myself to see what I'm capable of doing physically, I'm going to try to at least drive the um, four corner T posts at my place. If it works well for me. <laughs> but the desert ground is so hard. Um, I'm going to, you know, put in the other 12 I have. Uh, well, I, on Saturday, I'm leaving for Texas to visit a special someone. And because they did not have another spool of the water I want, I'm using, I did get the one spool they had left. But I, I want another one so I can make four strands. Um, I'm hoping to go to another tractor supply and find that they have some more in stock. So I can get that and then I can get some more TD pros uh, when I get back. Um, but right now I'm going to put in the 12 just to mark my property, which is always a good idea out here. So that's what we're doing this morning. Um, and again, I'm going to be out of town next week, taking a vacation from, you know, just, to, you know, trying to get my property ready and stuff. And then I'll be there about a week. And when I come back, I am going to pick up my dog, Sirius, on um, July 10th. And I'm very excited about it. I bought him a little swimming pool because he likes to keep cool in water. He loves, loves to play with water. Eventually, I'm going to get him a solar power. very close though um, and it's still it's it's fairly level it's gonna be easy to work with and like I said my only problem is my paper across the road uh, the property seems abandoned and I know you can't really see it but thankfully no vehicles but there's a bunch of trash and tires and stuff I may use the tires to mark the roads and stuff which we do here because where I but it's not cut out really you really can't see it with me coming and going it will eventually be worn into a road but my, my friend Jim and I figured out the property lines the other day so he just put some you know PVC or something in here so I can see where my corners are so this road actually veers off that way I don't know how with the wash there um, but, and then another road comes this way right by my property this is called Figaro, and those tracks are gone. <coughs> so, I'm going to start with this post here. I'm going to take this out and start putting in a T-bar. Now, I have no idea if I can do it. The, the pounder is very heavy. So are the T-bars. And so I don't know if I have the strength. If I don't, I'm going to get my friend Jim to help me. But I want to see if I can do it myself. Uh, please don't laugh. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I'm going to try to set up the camera so you guys can see. Um, anyways, let's see how, if this works. Okay, everybody, I've got the camera set up. I double checked with my surveyor app. It's maybe a few inches off the other day. Gonna have to keep double checking it, but I've got everything set up. I brought my little step stool because I'm only 5'2 and I'm at that age where you start shrinking, so who knows, but it's a six foot post, so. I'm going to give it a try. Nice and sturdy. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, everyone. Um, I have my four corners. Why? Because I'm a good witch, but I have my posts in my four corners. Um, so 
I started out with this batch with 12 um, depots. So I have four in, I have eight left. So what I'm gonna do next is using the PVC pipe that my friend originally marked the corners with, I am going to mark my driveway where my gate, my entry gate is going to be. Now I want that in the center of the front line of my property. So what I'm gonna do is I want my gate 10 feet. I'm gonna go to the center line, you know, to the center point of the property line in the front and then I'm gonna mark five feet in each direction and put my posts in to mark where my gate will be. And then I'm going to put in uh, the other eight posts. And I think this line over, this property line over here, where is it? Uh oh, I lost my property line. It's just so big, oh, here it is. Okay, so this, oh, I'm sorry. This bag here, you can't really see it. This is my short property line. It's very, you know, it's much smaller than the rest. I have an odd shape property. Uh, so the short one is all gonna be my garden area back here. Since it's a short one, I think I'm gonna leave out the posts in the middle until I get my next batch of posts. So I'm gonna do the longer property lines today. Okay, everybody, it's now 12.15. It's getting very, very hot. So I'm wrapping it up for the morning. I'm doing this stuff either in the morning or the evening. So what I did was, like I said, I'm measuring 10 feet for my gate. Um, and then I added another 10 because I'm gonna have posts. So I've got about 20 where these PVC pipes are. That's my truck running, it's very hot, so I have the air conditioning running in there. Um, so this is gonna be my drive area. I have, let's see. I have seven more posts to put in that I bought yesterday. I'm doing the front first and I'm gonna do the two back sides, my side and the back next, and then where the garden's gonna be. Um, so that's where I am now. I might come back tonight. I met my neighbor, which explains a lot for that lot across the road. It's all jumped up. Uh, he lives up over on that mountain, or not mountain, top of that hill up there. He just bought this property at auction. It was abandoned. It did, there were two parcels, two acres here, and it's fenced in down there. He just bought the acre across for me. He's not quite sure what he's gonna do with it yet, but I guess he just purchased it. But what he told me is that parcel down there, past that wood post, he said it's abandoned, nobody owns it now. He said, so if I want to take T-posts or anything from that side, <coughs> he said I can because nobody owns it. The problem is it's hard to get T-posts out, but it would help me a great deal because there's a lot there and I could just put them on my property. But I have a lot done here. So I might do that if I could figure out how to get them out. Um, so this is my driveway right here. So what I'm going to be doing is every time I come and go, it's going to be through here regardless of whether I have the fence up or not, because I want to wear this into a path. Um, so, you know, you know, my truck would, you know, just have a drive going all the way back. I don't know if you could see that post right back there. Let me see if I can bring it in for you. Yeah, that post back there. Um, that's my back corner. So what I'm doing is right caddy corner over that way is where I'm going to put the trailer. Now there is in that back corner going to be a patio with a desert garden. So first the trailer is going to be there. It's going to be up a little bit to make room for that kind of thing. It'll eventually be a cabin but then on the other side caddy corner is going to be my studio shot. So right back over that way and then in between the back again the patio and then in between the cabin and the studio shed will be the catio. My girls really need one. I think I'm gonna put my chickens over this way, my chicken coop. Uh, that small end, that short area over there, that's where I'm gonna start off with my vegetable and herb gardens. Um, trying to decide if I should put 
Sirius's um, doghouse, like in this corner or near the gate, because his job is to guard the property. Um, but putting up this these posts and a fence is going to help him with his training, so he knows where the um, property line is and what he needs to guard. And um, so yeah, he'll be watching after the girls with coyotes and stuff. And also when I get the chickens, I'm really excited. I'm picking him up on the 10th. So that's the update for this. <coughs> I think I'm going to leave you with that. When I start putting up the rest of the fence, like the wire and the gate and stuff, we'll be video recording that. And yeah, I don't know how much I'm going to be recording next week because I'm going to be on vacation. So blessed be and make it a joyful one.